In the aftermath of World War II, the world witnessed a leap in aviation technology, marking the beginning of what many refer to as the jet age. Today, we delve into five such remarkable warplanes that etched their names into the annals of aviation history. The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, an American twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter aircraft, was a game-changer in military aviation. Designed by McDonnell Douglas in response to a need identified by the United States Air Force in the late 1960s, the F-15 first took flight in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. It quickly distinguished itself as one of the most successful modern fighters with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat. For fighter jets, rapid ascent capability is a crucial performance metric, closely tied to engine power and operational altitude. The F-15 Eagle, with its powerful engines each providing over 11,000 kilograms of thrust and low wing loading, excelled in this aspect. In January and February 1975, a specially modified F-15A, known as the Streak Eagle, broke eight time-to-climb records, surpassing those previously held by the MiG-25. On February 1, 1975, at Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota, the Streak Eagle achieved a remarkable feat by climbing to 30,000 meters in just 3 minutes and 27.8 seconds and improved the 3,000-meter climb time by nearly 7 seconds compared to the MiG-25's record. Today, the Streak Eagle is proudly displayed at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. Its legacy, marked by these extraordinary time-to-altitude records, not only underscores the F-15's exceptional capabilities, but also signifies a pivotal moment in the history of military aviation. The Sukhoi Su-27, which was the Soviet Union's response to the F-15, broke multiple records in the fall of 1986, surpassing the F-15's previous records. The Su-27 was modified for minimal weight, which helped it achieve the 3,000 meters climb in just 15.6 seconds and reach 15,000 meters in 70.3 seconds, almost seven seconds faster than the F-15's time. These achievements highlight the importance of engine thrust and aerodynamic efficiency in determining a fighter jet's performance, especially in high-altitude encounters. The Su-27 is equipped with a single 30mm Gryazev Shapunov GSH-31 cannon located in the starboard wing route. For air-to-air -air combat, it uses a combination of R-73 and R-27 missiles, with the latter having extended range and infrared homing variants. This diverse armament allows the Su-27 to effectively engage a wide range of targets, from close-range dogfights to long-range interceptions. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is a jet-powered strategic bomber that has been a cornerstone of American air power since the 1950s. It was designed and built by Boeing and first flown in 1952, before entering military service in 1955. Originally intended as a nuclear bomber capable of reaching the Soviet Union, the B-52 has proven to be remarkably adaptable to various missions, and it still remains in service well into the 21st century. One of the most notable features of the B-52 is its enormous payload capacity. It can carry up to 31,751 kilograms of weapons, including both nuclear and conventional ordnance. This capacity was a significant leap over previous bombers, allowing the B-52 to deliver massive firepower over strategic targets. During the Vietnam War, B-52S were extensively employed in carpet bombing campaigns, which showcased their payload capabilities and played a crucial role in the war strategy. Over the years, the B-52 has been involved in several conflicts, including the Persian Gulf War, the Afghanistan War, and the campaign against ISIL. Its longevity and versatility are attributed to continuous upgrades, including enhanced avionics, electronic countermeasures, and weapon systems. Despite its age, the B-52 remains a key component of the United States nuclear triad and a symbol of American military might. Introduced in 2001, the RQ-4 Global Hawk offers extensive surveillance capabilities by utilizing high-resolution synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical slash infrared sensors. This unmanned aerial vehicle is capable of surveying up to 40,000 square miles of terrain per day, which has redefined the scope of intelligence collection. An outstanding achievement of the RQ-4 Global Hawk 
is its record for the longest non-refueled flight by a military aircraft. In 2013, the Global Hawk, nicknamed Lady Hawk, completed a flight that lasted an extraordinary 34.3 hours. This record highlights the UAV's advanced design and efficient fuel use, enabling it to undertake extended missions over large distances without needing to refuel. Strategically, the RQ-4 Global Hawk holds immense value in modern warfare. Its ability to conduct prolonged surveillance missions at high altitudes beyond the reach of most ground-based defenses provides military commanders with situational awareness. This capability is crucial for both strategic planning and tactical decision-making in various military operations. The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, known to NATO as Fishbed, is a supersonic jet fighter and interceptor aircraft that played a pivotal role during the Cold War. It was designed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gurevich Bureau as a response to the fast, short-range jet fighters of the West. In 1955, it made its first flight and was introduced into service in 1959. The MiG-21's design was revolutionary for its time, featuring a delta wing and a lightweight frame, achieving Mach 2 speed with a relatively low-powered turbojet. This made it comparable to Western aircraft like the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter and the Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighter. Its armament typically included one 23mm cannon and various combinations of missiles, allowing it to engage effectively in air-to-air -air combat. The MiG-21 holds the record for being the most produced supersonic jet aircraft in aviation history, with over 11,000 units built, demonstrating its widespread use and effectiveness. It was exported widely and served in air forces across more than 60 countries. The MiG-21's versatility and adaptability made it a mainstay in many air forces for decades, underscoring its significant impact during the Cold War era. Its continued use in several countries today speaks to its enduring legacy in military aviation. And there you have it, the five warplanes that have broken aviation records and set new standards. Each of these aircraft, from the F-15 Eagle to the Su-27, has played a vital role in pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in the skies. As we continue to advance in this technological race, it's exciting to wonder what new records will be shattered next. The sky has never been the limit in aviation, it's just the beginning. Stay tuned to witness the future of aerial innovation and the extraordinary feats that are yet to come. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please show your support by subscribing to the channel for notifications on our latest videos. We appreciate your support. See you in the next one.